four on the way home over the Great Dividing Range. I'll leave McKillop's Bridge, shoot over the Barry Way. From the Barry Way, I ride up to Jindabyne, where it was raining all the way. I won't kid you, it was uncomfortable. But I made it to Berradale, where I was greeted with some fantastic people, uh, great accommodation at the Cotton Inn. Um, <laughs> Look at that, coming this way, the other way. Oh, it's incredible. Wow, you can see why there's so many warning signs up here. One mistake, you are gone. Victoria is a beautiful state. Slowly climbing up again. Nice and easy, so no one's coming. Haven't seen much traffic. Uh, one car have passed so far. But I've seen him coming. So it wasn't so bad. Still going up. Oh, 600 meters above sea level, eh? Thought it'd be more than that. Holy smokes! Look at it out there. where I've just come from. Worn and up. Right up, keep going. Wheel of saddle. Yeah, that's a oh, oh, get inside, get inside, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I'll try and keep my head out there a bit longer. Holy smokes. Oh, I can't stop looking, I'll keep looking ahead. Oh. Right here, and below it, it's starting to rain. Uh, what have we got? Let's just have a look at this. 20 k's of Shulk and Bulgan. 116. I was just talking to some uh, young fellas and they said it's as rough as hell. 
but you know, you said with the Kato, it should have no dramas. So I'll, uh, I'll pull up up here and put some wet weathers on. I'm starting to get bloody nervous now. It's starting to rain. Uh. I'm guessing people like seeing people suffer. Uh. Oh, it's cold. Uh, not winging, but it is bloody cold. Anyway, I'm, I'm on my way to Jindabyne. Oh. I should have pulled over before then. I got wet hands in these gloves. Can hardly put the gloves on properly, so uh, they're uncomfortable. But anyway, uh, I'm on my way. Got like 115k to Jindabyne. Oh man, I hope I've done the right thing. Anyway, just keep heading forward. It's going to go nice and easy. coming down now that's for sure I remember in the dry when I came up there was a section uh, it was really really wet and sloppy and really caught me out once uh, and that was when the road was really dry so uh, I am keeping an eye out for that section whether they've dug that out in the past I don't know but uh, yeah she, she's really coming down now I'm sort of uh, really committed now anyway there'll be no droning through here today where I wanted to fly the drone but there's no chance no chance at all real shame Queensland so you've come through Jindabyne what's it like further on? Pretty much like this. Oh, good. I've been told horror stories. No. Yeah, good. Oh, good. That's all I was worried about. Yeah, the, the roads are a really good, Nick, honestly. Um, at this stage, the old mate just then he reckons it's okay. So, you know, I'll take his word for it. He just drove through it. Oh, slimy. Gonna watch this slimy shit.
just went through a bit of a you know right it out section maybe that's what they're talking about so it's not that bad uh, I was a bit, a bit slow putting the camera on just back there Go quicker because it's so so slippery. Just check out Jack's uh, look out. Yeah, okay, that GoPro's uh, uh, not looking the best. Oh, that's something else, isn't it? That's incredible. Jacks, look out. Wee! It, it is slippery, eh? Oh, I'm kidding myself to think it's not. It looks like the rain's starting to disappear. Which is really good. But this road is bloody slippery. I'd say this is the rutted section they're all talking about. Yeah, there's nothing to it. Oi, oh man. I don't think I've got that far to go, really. Yeah, it looks like I'm heading back into the uh, the clouds again. Maybe rain. Yeah, if there's anywhere it was going to be rutted, it'd be this this section here, which is you know the first 20k from that lookout up the top there. No, I'm just about there. This is the uh, <laughs> the spot. If I could, if I knew I could get here, I'd be right. Oh. See if I get some phone service. Grab myself some accommodation somewhere. Yeah, got in a Berrydale um, motor in, uh, cotton in. Uh, yeah, so I got caught out in the rain, as you know. Um, yeah, I, I came in here, I got in here and it was dark. So, uh, yeah, I'm just pleased to get in here. So I'm not even going to go out for two tonight. But I've decided to try out one of these bad boys, which I was going to do on the side of the road. But 
I couldn't because it was raining and it was bloody miserable. So I'm going to do a test. I'll, uh, I'll get back to you to let you know what it's like. See what I think. It's, um, it's got all the goodies in it. Looks like it's got rice and uh, you know lots of stuff in it. It's got corn. I, look, I had a taste of it. It's not too bad. It, it probably looks worse than what it tastes. It definitely looks filling. It's better than the other stuff I tried um, when I went away to Nundal. Uh, definitely, I'll, I'll, I'll probably end up trying a, a different uh, flavour next time. But uh, I think these will be pretty good for camping. No problem at all. Yeah, I woke up pretty early this morning, 3 o'clock. Couldn't go back to sleep, so I've decided to get on the road early. Uh, just heading through Cooma now. I'm uh, going to head out to Braidwood and probably stop for a bit of breakfast or something. It's, um, yeah, left this morning at 6. Uh, yeah, 2 degrees. It's gone up a few degrees. It's 5 degrees now, which is pretty good. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get some brekkie. Getting hungry. How's that for a sunrise? Holy smokes. Absolutely beautiful. Oh shit, can't put anything now. 